What's up guys? So as many of you guys know, one of the things about producing snakes, especially colubrids, is that sometimes you get problem feeders. So with these corn snakes, oftentimes um, they're going to be feeding pinks right off the bat, but there may be a few that may be picky for a certain amount of time. And really what works best and what is kind of a last ditch effort is to feed a knolls. A lot of them, even if they won't take pinkies, they won't take brained pinkies, they won't take pinky scented with particular things, they'll only take full of nulls. So I'm gonna show you what I do to combat my problem feeders. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I actually dip them in this anol juice that I make. I'll show you a little bit of the process of how I get the pinkies ready, which is kind of a weird process. Seems pretty weird, especially I was very, very hesitant to do it at first. So um, let's get into it. So here I am with my two pinkies that I'm gonna use today. And what I'm actually going to do is take Dawn dish soap and actually put it on the pinkies, which really sounds like something you wouldn't feed to a snake. But as you're gonna see, I'm going to uh, wash them off a little bit. This gets the, the rodent scent off of these pinkies. So um, I'm just gonna let them wash off really, really good. And basically just make sure that there's not any bubbles or anything going on that would signify that there's still soap residue on them. Now that we've done that, I'm going to put these pinkies in the anole juice. All I need really is to dip them in really quick, but um, I'm just gonna transport them here in our pot because it just makes my life a little bit easier right now. Now let's keep in mind this is a last ditch effort. And this snake hasn't eaten. Um, this snake actually didn't eat for almost two months when he first came out of the egg. And the last ditch effort was to feed him an anole tail. And now I'm using the anole juice to get him on pinkies. So ultimately, hopefully, we're able to just give him pinkies without anole scent. Um, the anole scent will kind of get him used to associating that pinky with food that he can eat. So. Um, this is a snake that won't take pinkies, won't take pinkies with just washed off, anything like that. And um, just look at how easy it is. And look at just how fast he eats this. So what happened is he actually, oh man, where'd he go? So this snake actually lunged out of here and look at him. That's crazy. Now we gotta pick him up. So as you can see, I think he likes that pinky. Which just makes it a really good transition of uh, getting him a good feeding response. So this little sunglow stripe has actually been only eating a nose for almost six months until finally I made this in old juice. Now she is very, very, pretty much scared of everything, so we will just take this and lay it down in there, and I will come back later to see if she ate it. So she's really shy. She used to honestly only eat overnight if I left an anole in there. But as you can see, she ate that pinky pretty quick. You can see that lump in her belly right there. So let's leave her alone and let her digest her meal. So it's two days later. Um, I didn't end up finishing the other video because it was time to do the podcast and 
I realized that there wasn't even that much to that video. So what I'm gonna do is feed some other snakes. So I'm not just going to feed the corn snake. I might feed the hog nose and see if they eat that kind of stuff. This is the Ultra Male Tessera Motley. This is an Extreme Oak T Tessera. Ultra Tessera, good shed, she just shed out. Ultra Mel Tessera. Leave her alone, him alone rather. And let's see some babies here. This this is a female. Leave that in there. For most of these guys, I just kind of usually leave the pinkies in there. Which just isn't as exciting for you guys watching. So I'm trying to get them to take it off of these pliers, but we'll see. Some will, some won't. There you go. And here's our female holdback from this year. She's getting big, eating well. Just gonna leave that there for her. This right here is our Hep Palmetto female. She's about to shed. Gonna be this one here. She never really takes off the tongue. She's pretty flighty. There's the brain. Let's see if he's hungry. I'm sure he is. He just shed as well. So that's really it. A lot of who I wanted to get eating ate. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you made it this far, you're on the team. Where are you, honey? Give me one more chance.